Hi, I'm Dr. Gretchen Oliver and I'm here with USPA Polo Development LLC and the Player Performance Analysis. Right now I want to give you just a brief overview of why we have chosen the exercises in your exercise glossary and those exercises that you're choosing to do for your pregame warm-up. The premise behind that is that the exercise that we have chosen we've tested and uh, we have evidence that we're working the muscles that really, fo that really concentrate on pelvic stability and also uh, scapular stability for the shoulder. So it's all about working those postural muscles right here in your lumbopelvic hip complex, as well as all the cues are pull your shoulders back. So working those shoulder blades so that we can keep you in the most efficient position. The stronger you are through here, the easier the energy transfer is going to be so that you can ultimately swing harder. So all the exercises, you'll note that a lot of it's going to focus at your hips. You're going to feel it burning in your hips and also your shoulder blades, back of your shoulder blades because everyone wants to squeeze them together. So when you look at that, if we wake up those muscles, then hopefully they will continue to be activated while you're on the horse and performing. Hi, I'm Dr. Gretchen Oliver, and today I'm here with USPA Polo Development, LLC, the Player Performance Analysis. And we're going to uh, talk about uh, what we do for pregame warm-up. So today we're going to give another variation of a 10-minute pregame warm-up that hopefully is going to wake up some of those postural muscles that we've been talking about, specifically in the pelvis, lumbopelvic hip region. So I have Costa here, Costa here today with me, and... Um, we're going to go through a few of them, so feel free to go along with this at home. I always say all you need is a, you can have watch, stopwatch, you can put the a timer on your cell phone because most of the exercises that we're going to do is just, is going to be based on time. So um, let's start out with, uh, let's put the band around the legs down here. And what we're going to start out with today is uh, just our basic hip abduction. So going out, and again, remembering that we're wanting to drive the forces down, and I've got the timer on him. He's going to do about 35 seconds, but we don't want him leaning over. So we want, it's almost like I'm the brick wall against him, and he's really focusing on stabilizing on the left side, and he's going out to the extreme. Maintaining his posture, keeping his shoulders back. All right, good. Now we're going to switch legs. Again, the leg that he's moving, notice that um, it's not on the ground. So he's, he's totally balancing on his right leg, trying to really stabilize the pelvis on the right and keeping level here as well as here. Good job. Okay, now uh, what I'm going to have you do is a little more difficult. We're going to, um, it's going to be abduction and uh, extension. So it's more of a, that abduction diagonal where you're going to go back like this. And on this one, we're going to go to 30 seconds. And then at 30 seconds, I'm going to have him do an additional exercise where he does the pumps. So he's going through full range of motion here. Again, same premise, balancing on his left leg. Okay, now I'm going to say go out to the extreme of that band, stretch it out, and try to pump there and maintain your balance. This one you see you're uh, leaning a little forward, so maybe we don't go out as far. So don't take it out as far and just try to do little pumps at that end range. Good. All right, now let's do the other leg. So we have just basic full range diagonal hip abduction. Really concentrate on sucking in your belly button, keeping that lumbopelvic area strong and stable. Make sure you're breathing for me. Okay, now let's do 20 seconds of pumps out at our in range. Good, shoulders back. All right, good job. Okay, uh, before we have the band on, let's, uh, we're gonna do the pelvic bridge. So let's lay here. My knees. 
Uh, yes, we're going to pull the band up to his knees. We're going to have him lay on his back. I want uh, feet flat on the ground and I'm going to keep them together, put, put them together so there's a very small base of support here. And then we want to make sure that we have the straight line. Point, knee, hip, shoulders. Very good. Um, if it's more difficult, he could, you could put your arms out this way. And that's just going to help him stabilize. So he's holding this. I'm going to have him hold this for 40 seconds. If it's easy to him, he can cross uh, his arms across his chest because he maybe would not need that stability. Okay, so with this, we're making sure he's breathing. He's doing a great job here. I'm gonna have him go down for a second and rest. The next exercise, what I'm gonna have you do is you're gonna do a, uh, your bridge. Once you're in the bridge, then I'm gonna say extend this leg. Okay, and so the thing is he really has to drive his plant foot into the ground to keep this level because as soon as he extends his leg you may want to drop there. Make sure you're breathing for me. And this leg is basically just parallel with this other one. Good, you have about five more seconds. All right, good. Rest and go down to the ground. Okay, now we're going to do the other one and at any time that he's having trouble I would maybe say drop down to the ground and reposition. Good. And the trick with this is if you're really driving this heel into the ground, that's going to help maintain this pelvic stability. Good. Give me five more seconds. Good job. Down. Okay. And since we have the band on, um, we can make it a little difficult. So the next one, I'm going to have him bridge up. Make sure his feet are together. And then he's just going to do clams. But again, he's going to extend out and back and try to keep his pelvis level. So we've got 30 seconds of this. Good job. Okay, we can um, take the band off, give you a little break on uh, those holds, and let's do some stuff on the board. Okay, usually the first exercise I always have done on the board is just get in the, your athletic position. So let's get in an athletic position, and then uh, maybe your, like your, your riding position. And ideally, this should start to get a little easier where you could hang out on the board for five minutes at a time if you wanted to and do other things like juggle. No, oh, I won't have you juggle. Okay, so in this position, again, he's, once he's balanced, we wanna make sure, okay, I'm in a, a powerful position. And that's where I say the athletic position. So I'm gonna have him hold this for another 15 seconds. And that's just, again, getting used to the board because every day it's gonna be different. Maybe uh, you left the little bladder piece out in the sun, so it inflated a little more, or it was in the cold and it deflated. So it, the balance is always going to be a little different each day. Okay, you can step off. The next one we're going to do is we're going to do some squats. So um, on this, I want, this is actually going to be for a number. We're going to do five squats and each one of them, I want you to go down as far as you can and we're going to hold for a count of 10. Okay, good. Now we're going to hold. Hold, hold, good job. Now up, very good. Got, you've got four more. And this whole series, if you have to step off, that's fine. But ideally, the stronger you get at this, that's all right, keep holding, you're doing it. Hold, 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 up. Is that you still don't want the board to hit the ground. Okay, we've got three more. Another variation is he's challenging himself every time he, hold, keep on, keep on. Good, up, just have two more. He's challenging himself that he's going down maybe a little further in that squat every time. Doing great. Good, up. The last one, we're gonna to try to go down just a tad further if we can.
Good job. Hold, hold, hold. Okay, up. Good job. Now you can step off. Um, we can do, uh, since we have the board here, let's go ahead and finish out with a couple of planks on the board. So um, I'm going to allow him to hold the board however he wants. He can have the wide grip or he can put his hands on top of the board. So for this, that's great. He's been practicing these. He's, we're level here, straight across. We're going to hold this for 30 seconds. Again, make sure he's breathing. You don't want to hold your breath on these. Doing great. If the 30, if the time's too long, I always say drop down to the ground and reposition. You don't want to put, you don't want to get in a bad posture. Okay, good job. Drop down. Okay, this next one, um, what we're going to do, it's going to be our last one. And so we're going to be in a plank. And then when we're in the plank, I'm going to instruct, you're going to do um, abduction with your leg. So we're just going to choose one leg and then I'll tell you to stop and switch. There you go. And try not to rotate. So really, what you're really going to have to do, keep going, is driving this toe down into the ground. Great job. Okay, now let's try the other side. This is a more challenging one because I even have him on the board doing it. If he were really rotating, I would take him off the board and just having doing these on the ground. Great job. All right, you're good. Okay, so that concludes um, another example of a 10 minute pre game warm up that you can implement. Again, you can go to the glossary and find the different exercises, a lot of different exercises, and just plug in exercises if you have six minutes, if you have 12 minutes, however much time you need. Uh, very basic materials. We have our endo board balance that we use. If you don't have the endo board, uh, if, or if you don't have room for it, at least take your band with you and you can do the whole series with bands. Ideally, we like to implement the balance and the bands, but it's mainly that you are attempting to do some type of pregame warm-up prior to getting on the horse each day so that you can really work on conditioning your lumbopelvic stability. Thank you.